All right, in this video, we have a 2021 20, Atlas. 2020, 2019. This will probably work for the majority of the Atlases. It came with tow package. It came with tow package. Some of them came with the uh, seven blade RV plug already. Some of them didn't. And none of them came with the electric brake controller. We're fixing to add that and show you. You can buy all these parts off of uh, E trailer or somewhere wherever you want they make an adapter harness here because if they came with tow tow package they're pre-wired for electric brakes I'm fixing to show you here in a minute where the wiring's at how to put the brake controller on and install the seven blade plug you can install the seven blade plug and get trailer brake lights by themselves with uh, without having to install an electric brake controller. But if you're gonna be pulling something a little heavier, these are rated up to 5,000 pounds. Tow capacity, we got a 3,000 pound camper. Anything 3,000 pounds on newer campers uh, require electric brakes. So, I'm gonna show you how to install these brake controller. All you really need, you can use a T20 Torx bit. Little finesse tool, Phillips screwdriver. That's about all the tools you'll probably need to install this. All right, fixing to get started. All right, the first part is the uh, seven blade RV plug. You can pick these up, they're pretty cheap. I don't know, it depends on the brand you buy, but they're about, I don't know, 20 to 30 dollars, sometimes 40. But to do that, Use your T20 Torx. And remove the screws on the plate here. You have to turn it until it slides out because of this groove and the groove in the plug. Then you have to release the secondary lock. Just to release the secondary lock up and then unplug it. Installing the new plug is pretty simple. You just install it and then make sure you push down the secondary lock. Alright. You just line it back up. Twist it around until it lines up. Torque screws back. Let's see. That's it. That's pretty simple. Now you have trailer trailer lights. You'll have lights with a seven blade. You can buy an adapter that goes down to a four pin or whatever you use for your trailer. This will give you trailer lights. It won't give you electric brakes. Uh, it's wired for electric brakes. Now to get electric brakes you'll have to install a brake controller and I'll fix to show you how to do that. Alright. Right. This is how you install an electric brake controller on an Atlas. Crossport be the same if they have electric or not electric, but a tow hitch or tow package. First thing you do is you pull this trim right here, it pops straight up, it has metal clips in it. Second thing is your hood release. You open your hood, you pull the handle, and right in here is a plastic clip. You take a finesse tool and pull that clip out. There's a the clip. Now you can take and get it behind the handle. Pull the handle out. You can put the clip back in. That way when you install the handle. Next thing, there's a little pin here. It's a push tab. You could take the cover off and there's a little flathead, but they usually don't back out. So you grab it from underneath here and you just pull it. 
then you can take push this tab and then you can push the tab back all right there's that tab all right we're gonna need that later so with tow package they're all pre-wired for electric brakes the wires are tucked in here there they are you buy this adapter harness off of whatever website you want to use I use the trailer they have a lot of stuff for towing and all that trailers it'll plug directly in to your electric brake wire harness and this one will plug into I've got a Kurt Triflex brake controller and it'll plug directly into it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the wires up to this cold seal cover here I'll take the first two or three screws out of it I'll show you those screws and I'm gonna run the wires out of a hole in there that way they're hidden and they're not in the way when you're driving all right let me get the camera here I'll show you those uh, screws here is one there's another and here's another one over here there's actually four of them but we don't need to pull it all the way down just pulling these three will give you enough space to pull this trim piece down here See, you got enough space there what I do is I run the wires on this panel and I come out that hole there there's plenty of room between the let's see here if I can brighten it up some footwell vent and the panel here push the camera around there accidentally all right, so make sure it's tucked out of the way. All right, all you need is just a plug hanging out because you won't need much wiring. Actually, if you want to go ahead and plug it in, I actually run the wires up through there. So you don't have any slack on your brake controller, so there's not a bunch of wires hanging out. So then you can pop this trim back up. That way, see, you only have that much wires. All right. I'll tuck all these out of the way. Now we're fixing to install the trim piece back. The screws back in the panel. I'm going to put these screws back up here. One of these screws, I use this one here on the brake controller to hold it. That way you're just adding one screw, you're not having to add an extra. That way, that may be enough to hold it, but Probably be good if you put a second screw in it. Yeah. You want to put a second screw in it still. I've got one of the small supplied screws that they give you. Already right here. Kind of like a self tapper there. There is a brake controller mounted. Once you plug it up, you can read the manual on the Triflex. It'll tell you if it needs to be calibrated and all that. That's just the adjustments on it here. 
All right. Now, putting this trim back in. Basically, over here, there is, let's see if I can get a better picture. You have to tuck this back into this trim piece here. You have to make sure that when you put it in, it goes back up in there like that. Now, also, down here, it tucks into the dead pedal. All right, it's tucked in there, tucked in over here. Now, push it in as far as you can go and up. There's a little seal here on the door. Make sure it's all over. You can put this pin back in. Make sure it lines up. Just push this in like that. Put your handle just snaps back in. Now, this piece. You'll see that it's kind of hard to go back. Well, you got to push that plastic back toward the front of the vehicle. And then, snap all that back in. It's all snapped in. Make sure this rubber seal is rolled back where it's supposed to be. And there's your brake controller installed. So now you have electric brakes. And everything's put back the way it goes. Everything plugs in, no wiring, no cutting, nothing. Alright, thanks for watching.